Are you more team Chanel or team Hermes? I have seen some imperfections. I have experienced some imperfections. It tarnishes pretty easily. There's been a bit of a debate lately whether Hermes bags are more of a better investment or Chanel. By investment, I don't mean monetary investment where you can make money out of them, although it's possible. But that's not the point of this video. It's more in terms of how to build your collection in that sense which one is a better investment, especially from 2023 onwards, since we can't go back in the past. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Amy. Those of you who have been watching a lot of my past videos would know that I am a huge Chanel fan. In general, I do really associate myself to be more of a Chanel girl in that sense. It's safe to say that for the past seven, eight years, I've been really, really into Chanel and I really love the aesthetic in general just from the point of view of everything, right? The whole runway, the whole aesthetic of their ready-to-wear and the costume jewelry, everything put together. I really like their aesthetic. A recent debate between Chanel and Hermes has surfaced a bit more, I suppose, because of the constant price increases, especially since the pandemic. I'm not just talking about luxury, I'm talking about cost of living and everything in general. I just noticed that my little horsey has a little elastic band on there because I was training the little tail to kind of just do this because it was going crazy before, it was going all directions. Anyway, back to this discussion of this video. Let me tell you guys that I have definitely fallen head over heels for Hermes, not only because of these very coveted quota bags, the Kellys and the Birkins. Obviously, these are kind of the cream of the crop and sort of like the reward for being loyal to the brand, but I really truly have a newfound respect for the brand in terms of how they go about making their bags ready to wear it through their silk scarves, fine jewelry, watches, as well as their small leather goods. Everything is crafted with care and a lot of precision, and you can tell. Now, having said that, it does not mean that Hermes is 100% perfect. Nothing is, but in general, everything that I get my hands on, I am pretty happy with. There are, however, imperfections, and I truly don't believe that anything from any brand can be 100% perfect, but they're pretty close to it. I have seen some imperfections. I have experienced some imperfections. So it's not impossible to find imperfections for even Hermes. I just wanna be clear about this. With Chanel, same story, none of the Chanel bags are perfect. A lot of them are near perfect, especially in the past. And if you're just lucky and if you just look over the one that you find. But in general, I would say I had to be super careful at picking the best one. And that is assuming if they have even more than just one. For example, if you're looking at this bag, for example, they only had one. So if I didn't buy it, someone else will buy it. So I would say in Chanel, same story, but there are more imperfections than I would typically find in Hermes. That alone, if we're just comparing how perfected the products are across the board, I have to give the point to Hermes. So that's the making of their items, the craftsmanship in other words. Now, in terms of raw material, that's different, right? Because that's just what they use to make the items. In terms of raw material, I have to say they're both very good. Hermes still does gold plating or palladium plating, but it doesn't mean that it's risk-free either because it does tarnish if you're not careful, if you're not caring for your items, and it tarnishes pretty easily. <laughs> You know what, in terms of hardware, I actually don't mind either one because Chanel hardware, as far as all the bags that I have, I've not really had any issues with them, even though they're not gold-plated anymore. 
With Hermes, however, you have to be super careful, especially if you have rose gold or gold hardware. Palladium is a little bit better, but in general, you have to be really careful with the hardware on Hermes bags because they can tarnish and scratch pretty easily. Scratches over time are inevitable, and especially because you have to remove the stickers. Now, whether you remove them or not, that is all up to you, but in my opinion, if you don't remove them, you run into the risk of tarnishing underneath the sticker and having the sticker melt onto your hardware, and that is even worse than having scratches. So I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but my advice is that you should remove your stickers as soon as possible. I would suggest that you do wipe your hardware after every use. And it's not super hard because they're pretty small. Just have a dedicated microfiber that you use, a very soft one. The ones that you use for sunglasses, those are good. Uh, use those to wipe your hardware every time you use your bag and you're golden. Anyway, getting back to the raw material in terms of the leather. So comparing the leather again, um, Almez is going to excel at this because they use real full grain leather, not as highly processed as how Chanel does. So I'm sure if you guys follow an account called Tanner's Leather or something, deconstructing <laughs> a lot of different brands, handbags, and small leather goods, I'm going to link to his channel below. Um, he does a lot of Instagram stories as well, so very informative. I'm sure if you've watched him, you're fully aware that Hermes definitely uses really, really good raw materials. So all their leathers are very highly premium quality. Obviously you pay a nominal like for it, but a lot of other companies don't. And specifically for Chanel, they do a very, very heavy coating on all of their leathers. Is that necessarily a bad thing? Not really, because I love my caviar bags. I love my distressed calfskin bags. Now, have they have more issues in the recent past? Yes, um, I can name just the most recent one that I've had an issue with is the 22 bag. And we all have heard and saw a lot of people's dramatic <laughs> issues that they've had. So I won't go into, go into that, but the point is you can count on Almaz for giving you the top notch premium quality material, even not just their quota bags, even on their most basic non-quota bags. So again, Hermes, one point for them and zero for Chanel. I mean, it's unfair in that sense, but you know, we are comparing the two brands, right? So raw material, Hermes excels. Okay, let's talk about style because it's not fair to just talk about craftsmanship and material because obviously Hermes will excel at this. In terms of style, I honestly, I honestly prefer the aesthetic of Chanel. I already said that at the beginning, but does it mean that I don't like Hermes? No, because Hermes has its place. I wouldn't call it quiet luxury anymore because everyone knows about Hermes, but at the same time, there is something sophisticated about the simplicity and the simple lines of most of their bags. I wouldn't say all, but a lot of their bags are very simple. And I'll leave it at that because, you know, they were not originally a fashion company. They specialized in saddling. So it's a little bit unfair to compare the style in general from Hermes to Chanel because Chanel is a fashion company. Gabrielle Chanel herself designed clothing and handbags and so her main focus was fashion. So automatically we have to allocate a point for Chanel for style because generally speaking, they just have an aesthetic that is so pleasing and it's very feminine, very powerful, and just, we just all love it. Whether every single bag is beautiful, is very subjective to that particular person. A lot of people have not been liking their recent offerings and I'm again pointing out the 22 bag. Let's talk about price. Even though I know everyone's priced out and I know everyone's tired of even hearing about price increases, but it is a thing. It is something to consider when you're investing your hard earned money into either of the brands. Again, this is gonna be so hard to decide because it is very subjective to that individual alone. Are you valuing more about the raw material and the craftsmanship and all the history 
or are you valuing more the fashion aspect and the styling and still really good construction and material you're still getting a pretty nice bag right at the end of the day if we're just looking at bags in general i think we have to all agree that chanel has had more significant and unreasonable price increases every time they've had one especially you know i want to say circa 2020 that's when they started doing very frequent and like super hikes 30 percent at a time this one in particular i bought it just before that huge hike i personally don't see that stopping anytime maybe they'll slow down eventually depending on how you know there's many factors the economy is one of them the behaviors of the consumers is one of them there are many many factors of course but in general to the average consumer which i include myself in that category it has become unaffordable i'm especially referring to people who are maybe just starting out their luxury journey at this point how is anyone going to be able to afford them if they're just regular salary people like they are not coming from money they don't have an inheritance of any sort like how do they even afford it not that it was a lot easier back then but it was maybe a little bit easier like i think it was so in that sense chanel has been just very very bad <laughs> in that uh, you know value versus money and then Hermes has always been and known for being expensive. I guess the mystery on how to even afford or get these bags was, you know, a total misnomer. So uh, they've always been known to be expensive and highly, highly coveted, highly exclusive. So they were always expensive to begin with. However, they do have the backing of the you know the, the the raw material and the craftsmanship to kind of justify a bit of that not to say that they're totally justifiable but looking at the trend of how frequently they increase their price and by how much the rate at which they went up was a little bit more reasonable more recently they did go up quite a bit 10 percent, which is a lot having said that which one has or offers more value now can we just look at the pricing or do we need to also consider their resale value. That can be another whole other thorough discussion and video, but in general, I think we can all agree that Chanel has always kept its value over time, the resale value very, very well, especially assuming you keep both of them in very good condition. So I would say even though they have been increasing their prices significantly and at an alarming rate every year, Chanel still does keep a very good resale value in general. Hermes on the other hand, I don't have a lot of experience, but I always said in the past that when you buy something that is already expensive to begin with, like very, very expensive, it is that much harder to sell it because not everyone's gonna be able to afford it, right? So in general, there's that. And also with Hermes, <sighs> It's hard like it depends on if you're buying the exact combos that people like the sizes that is in trend right now all the smaller sizes are trending neutral colors are usually a little bit easier to sell and um, occasionally there are some holy grail colors that are seasonal that will do well as well so there is that but in general I feel like Hermes if I were to sell my bags, I honestly don't know where to go because they are so expensive to begin with. There is just a bigger market for Chanel rather than Hermes. That is just my general impression, but I have a feeling that if I were to put these two bags on sale in a vlog sale, that the Chanel will fly off the shelf way before this one does because not everyone's into Birkins and not everyone's into a very serious bag not everyone is into buying super expensive bags not to say that this is not expensive this one uh the current price of it is just as much as this but my point is the chanel bag is always going to be more popular i feel do you think that for the price and the value which one excels and which one should get the point i personally feel like chanel has an edge over Hermes for that one so but they're very close so I don't know. What do you think, guys? Anyway, I feel like in conclusion, uh, they both have their own appeal. They both 
have their own pros and cons just like everything else and you be the judge whether you prefer Chanel or Hermes. As for me, I cannot live without either one of them so I have to have a bit of both. That is how my collection has evolved. Yes, it was mostly LV at first and then mostly Chanel after and now it's a lot of Hermes and a lot of Chanel at the same time. That is the plan anyway because I'm still trying to get my third quarter bag this year so um, I still have more Chanel bags to speak of in my collection but I do foresee my collection to be a bit more even over time and that I do right now do favor a little bit more my Hermes bags. I kind of want to wear them more often that might have to do with the fact that I still have a bigger honeymoon phase with a lot of the bags since they are newer my collection from Chanel is a little bit older I'm also aware that a lot of other people not myself that have jumped onto this Hermes train have slowly gotten rid of everything else and just kept a core collection of Hermes bags themselves will that happen to me? I don't know yet because I can't tell the future. Do I have a plan to do so? Not really because I do feel like I have a core Chanel collection that I want to keep for sure that those are never going to move away from my collection no matter how often I use them. But I do think that there is still room to change. There may still be some Chanel bags that are gonna move homes eventually. Not right now, but like eventually. It'll depend on how fast or how much it evolves on the Hermes path for me. Food for thought for sure. And there's no right or wrong. You are allowed to love Chanel, hate Chanel. You're allowed to love Hermes, hate Hermes. You are allowed to not like either one of them because they both have been just very, very overrated in a sense. A lot of people call it that and that is totally fine too. But at the end of the day, it boils down to the individual themselves and whether they find it worth their while. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also do a weekly live stream and you can also join my membership for more exclusive behind the scenes content. Thank you all so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Bye.